to the team because they, they give their utmost best every day. Training is not very easy. We are playing a very high octane game. We are, we are demanding a lot as coaches. Our analysts demand a lot from the team. So everybody uh, knows how important it is to give his best to Sundowns. And the most important thing for this season in particular, when we tried to, to have a squad that was complete in our standards, that could play almost every, every player within the group without fear. And when, when those players that have all participated in all these competitions get to lift all these competitions, we, we really appreciate and we are thankful to all of them because, honestly speaking, at Sundowns, if you look at the number of matches we have played, uh, you will realize that now maybe we're in match number 47. And that is not easy for, for, for our team with a lot of traveling in between. And one always forgets to also thank our families, the families of the players. Uh, those young families, honestly, are always tested to the limits if you were to consider that. Our boys are always away from home. Maybe in a week they are away from home four days. And uh, we always uh, have something to say and point fingers when their, their relationships and their families are not doing well. But the truth of the matter, it, you, you have to endure to, to be a, a spouse or a partner of a Sundowns player. And honestly, that's why I want to, to thank all our families, our wives, partners, uh, their girlfriends and all that. It's very important that uh, we, we, we do thank all of them because they would not function the way they are if it was not for the fact that they they have people that are supporting them from behind. And really, really, I want to extend that word of gratitude to all these families and, 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 and ask them to, to understand that the next season again we are going. We are going for the same campaign of the championship, which we, of the Champions League, which was our dent for this season, which I believe the team had really given their best shot, to be honest. Yeah, no, man, we, we spoke with these players because we knew this game is not going to be an easy game is not going to be a walk in the park. We, we knew we had to dig a little bit deeper and we spoke to the players. They understood that uh, for a high octane game, you cannot sustain the same intensity for the entire match, which is why we had some influential players on the bench that we knew uh, if the game starts to, to take a dip, we will be able to lift it up with those players. And no wonder our opponents were cramping all over because we knew it will, not, it will take something from them to sustain th that those levels of intensity but we nearly tossed it because with the chances that we got first half and we did not take this game could have gone either way but uh, fortunately our our bench is always too strong Temba did very well Tapelo did very well Pavol also came and added an impact in the team uh, we were also forced to bring Musapek whom I believe also had a very good game today so honestly speaking, everybody else that got a chance to, to come in and add value. Pizzo was also exceptional in the group. And we really, really feel our, our substitute did not let us down. And they are the ones who made us to win the match at the end. Norman, I felt it's necessary for, for me as a, as a leader of the technical department. Uh, when the situation was bad like that uh, in the pitch, uh, we would end up just leaving them without even saying thank you. And to be honest, they have really enjoyed a very hard season where they could not even come to the stadiums. And at times when they, they had to come to the stadium and just be outside and hit that drum and sing outside the stadium to try and support us. And when we win the treble, just to walk away without even saying thank you, for me that would not have been fair. And that's why I took a moment to say, let me just show that in as much as it would have been very dangerous for everyone else to do it, because when there were a lot of people outside, anything could have happened. But I just felt uh, it's important that at least one of us shows that he appreciates them and he knows the value that they add in, in this uh, wonderful club. All right, last question. Must get a quick one. Yes, uh, Coach, sorry, I don't know if this was asked. Uh, like, uh, but uh, what's the plan for the next season? about 
I will not agree because when you look at the at the stats, because in this game, in this day and age, you have to be very objective. And for you to be objective, you must use a lot of data to justify that. Is it a real dominance or maybe it's those margins here and there where we've got some marginal gains as a result of either the technical team that we have, because we must also be honest, it's, it's, it's very difficult for, for any other team to compete with uh, so many capable coaches uh, sharing their opinions within the group to make sure that this thing is better. And uh, having those critical debates that are very difficult uh, in other environments, uh, these debates are not between coaches. These debates are between the, the coach and the boss. But at Sundowns, the president and the chairman give us the authority to make these decisions as coaches, as analysts, together. And we sit in, our, in this panel of more than 20 people and we discuss the, the finer details of each and every game. And those marginal game, gains at some point do make us to look better than others because uh, we, we dig a little bit deeper. When I say sometimes we spend more than an hour just to make the lineup be because we don't want to leave any stone unturned. We want to try the best we can to be fair to the boys and to be objective as well because sometimes emotionally we would want one player to play at the expense of the other. But uh, when you've got a group of people that will substantiate with data and everything to say this is how it should take uh, a different direction and you all agree at the end. Maybe that's where the success is, not necessarily because uh, these other teams are not at, at our level, but if you look at the matches that we play, this game could have gone either way today. The game against Chiefs could have gone either way. The game against Stellenbosch was a total dominance on our side, but we lost the match. So there are many games like those that uh, you would say today we, we were very dominant to the rest of the other teams. But if you look, I always say in South Africa, the biggest challenge, which is also affecting us when we go to Africa, in South Africa, they miss a lot. We miss a lot of chances. Uh, Paris should have, would, have, would have won the Confederations Cup if, if it was not just because they missed chances. We could have continued in the Champions League if it was not for missed chances. In the PSL, you survive even when you miss. We missed four clear chances first half today, but uh, we still won the match. In, a, in other matches, when you miss those chances, the opposition gets through, they finish the game off. And that is what happens in the Champions League. So I would not say uh, we are head and shoulders above the rest, but it's just mar marginal gains here and there. Coach, thank you very much. Let's thank you. End it here.